Hey guys, Thunder E here. It is high noon and I'm checking out cameras from both the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. These are both the front facing cameras. The Xperia has a 12 megapixel with a max resolution at 4K 30. And I'm running it off basic mode, which is the basically like the standard auto settings for any one. Same thing with the Galaxy as well. So this is the front facing camera, see how it works. And then let's continue this video. Now on basic mode with the uh, Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, it only records up to 4K 30. Now it can go all the way to 4K 120 if you use the Cinema Pro camera app, which is different. And I'll show you that later on in this video. But on basic, I wanna show you what you get, how it looks, the differences. We're gonna cut under the tree here. So we're cutting to some shade see how it differs while we cut into some shade here and then we'll walk a little bit into the field and kind of just pan around so there's a it's a it's a bird there let's zoom in so we got 3x on the galaxy we got 3.5 and you can see the gradual zoom and then if we kind of go to 5.2 here galaxy allows us to go to about you can go to 5.8 5.1 there we go and then we've got 10 and we go to about 10 on the galaxy. You can see the bird there. And we go to 15. Oh, he's kind of flown off. Well, let's focus on the tree. You can find the tree, there we go. And then uh, on the galaxy, you can see the tree here. It's a bit shaky. Galaxy 20 on the tree on the galaxy. Let's see if we go max 20, there we go. So 15 on the Xperia, 20 on the Galaxy, looking at the tree. I'm just free holding them. Some of you looking at those images and going, hmm, well, hold on a second. Because the Xperia 1 Mark IV is not just about auto photo taking, but also taking the pictures you want to manipulate to the best of your ability. And that is why the apps are really important. And take a close look at what the Xperia 1 Mark IV brings to the table that is different from the Galaxy S23 Ultra with these apps. One of the coolest things about this device is the camera app. So this is the Photo Pro app, we're in the basic mode which allows us to toggle between the lenses quite effectively, but we can also zoom and slide in. You see how smooth that is going through all the lenses, the ultra wide, the main, and also the telephoto. So you can see how smooth that is, uh, as opposed to most of the cameras. We can change the scene here. So you've got the, uh, the different scene view looks. We can go to auto here, auto night mode, if you wanna change that. This of course for taking multiple photos, as well as also your timer, this is for bokeh portraits, uh, a slider for, of course, the brightness setting as well as, well as also the scene. And then we can toggle between photos and uh, video and the front facing camera. Now that's basic mode. You can go into auto, so auto scene detection. You have a program uh, auto. You also have a shutter speed priority and you have a manual exposure. And then this is just the recall uh, camera settings for whatever you set it to. So that is just the Photo Pro app. The other app here that is instinctive is the Camera Pro app. Now this allows you to shoot things more cinematically if you want to. And you can see here, I can toggle all the way to 120 frames, which I couldn't do on the uh, Photo Pro app. I can also record at 2K instead of 4K. I can change the look from warm to soft monochrome or just go into Venice CS here. I can look at the ISO, the lens. I can change the lenses I'm using. Um, I can also change my shutter speed, mount of focus, all that stuff. Uh, and also my, my mic position as well. So it does a lot more than the other camera, which is why this sets this apart for me as a device that has a camera. Okay, moving from the camera, let's go to the speakers. Speakers are something that we all cherish now, so a quick speaker test for you and find out which is better. Uh, 
So the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV sound really good and I placed them high. I think the Galaxy is slightly better because it's louder and still clearer than the Sony, Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, but still really solid. Now, taking a look at the device in terms of hardware, they are very different. Sony has a 21 by nine aspect ratio, while the Galaxy is more of that traditional form factor or, or size, if you will. Camera designs are kind of similar in the back. It's like, at least they are perpendicular to the device, uh, except of course, Samsung has two extra camera uh, housings there. Now, I like the back of the Sony with that grated feeling that you can hear right there. And when you actually touch it, it feels really nice plus the dedicated camera button. Now, we do know both devices are housing a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, so how does it perform for gaming? So we jump straight to Genshin Impact. We know what the Galaxy does, it can do 60 frames per second solid. While I was getting mixed results off the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, and I think this might just be due to the fact that it might not be optimized for this device yet. I got temp I got FPSs at higher 60 frames per second for like 10 minutes, and then it dropped down to about 46 for a few minutes and went back up. So that is something that I will not attest to it here directly, but it's something that Sony needs to make up and change. I will say though, I look like, do like the game center on the Xperia, allowing you to see your FPS, your temperatures, your charging, changing the modes uh, of the device while you're gaming, which is actually pretty cool. Plus you do have the ability to actually draw in power from a device while charging so that you're not using your battery while gaming. So that is pretty effective. Now, when it comes to differences, there are some really key differences with both devices. On the hardware side, Sony does offer expansion via micro SD card through the SIM tray. There are two SIM trays. The second SIM tray offers that ability. So all you SD card lovers, this might be the device for you because if you're gonna be taking a lot of photos and videos, especially with those photo apps, apps uh, that I mentioned that actually comes into play right there for extra storage. The other thing too is that Sony has a couple of applications that bring in some really cool features. Uh, you do have the external monitor app which allows you to use it as an external monitor. You also have the Music Pro uh, for better audio quality if you're recording music or just doing anything audio wise there. Um, you've got Cinema Pro, Video Pro apps. So you've got a lot of apps that tend to gear to that video creating format. I do like the external monitor, especially if you're live streaming, because that's actually pretty cool. Now, that's what it brings to the table, but the Galaxy also has its own cool, unique features. Mainly the S Pen with the S23 Ultra, being able to take down notes, use the S Pen as a remote control, all those functionalities are built in. And I'm just gonna leave you with the question, who do you think is better? You've seen the images, you've seen the differences between both devices. I know this was a quick rundown for you guys because the devices just came out. Again, I'll wait to see what it does update wise with the uh, Xperia 1 Mark IV for uh, playing Genshin Impact. Those numbers were kind of just weird to me, but leave your thoughts down below guys and always enjoy your entertainment and let me know who you think won this battle.